Did you know, in a recent study put together by KPMG in 2012 regarding family businesses, the greatest challenge that founders have and the greatest issue for them to deal with is how do they deal with family members that work in the business. My name is Francesco Lombardo. You can call me Franco. I'm the author of three books. I'm an international speaker and I have a private practice where I work with some of North America's wealthiest families just like yours. You know, it never ceases to amaze me whenever I'm speaking to a group or working with a family one-on-one, -on -one, how many times they say that they've got governance in place and yet they still have conflict. What's that about? Like, what's going on here? I'll share with you what I think the main issue is. You see, societally, we believe that if we have rules, we'll behave. And yet we don't. I'll give you a classic example. And I, I'm, I'm one to break this rule all the time. Speed limits. We have a speed limit posted, and yet we will go over the speed limit. That speed limit is a form of governance. And yet I choose to break it, as you may do too. You may also know people that choose to break it. So we've got this governance in place for family businesses, and yet the participants for which the governance is supposed to protect and uphold don't follow it. Classic example is Conrad Black, or Enron as another one. So why is that? What goes on? It's these individuals' beliefs and behaviors where they choose to uphold the governance or not follow the rules or not. In a recent conversation with a colleague of mine, Andrew Kite from Loyola University, he said something to me that just staggered me and yet made perfect sense. He talked about that the succession planning industry is designed to protect the business from the family. Like that's insane! But yet when you step back and think about it, it makes perfect sense. Because it's the family's behaviors and beliefs that get in the way of succession planning. Which leads to ask the question, what are families doing about it? As you're watching this video, I ask you to ask yourself this question. What are you doing about conflict in your family? You know, I know that it's difficult to deal with conflict. I know that it's something that we want to uh, avoid. We don't want to go there. It's natural. But yet conflict is healthy. Conflict allows us to see our differences. One of the things I know about families, particularly parents of families, is they love their children so much. And they don't want them to do battle. And yet at times they feel absolutely helpless as they see their kids go at it. You know, I was watching a movie earlier today called Class Action. It's with um, Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio and Gene Hackman. And they're, they're lawyers, father-daughter. And there's one moment where they get over the differences. And the secret is for them to get over the differences I'm going to share it with you, is they were able to talk from a place of absolute vulnerability and authenticity. I know you can do that. I know you have it in you. I know it's scary. What you need to know is there's help out there. There's people willing and able to help you and your family deal with these issues. All you have to do is reach out. You can reach me at francol at veritage.ca. That's F R A N C O L at V E R I T A G E dot C A. If you choose to use the phone, which is how I prefer to communicate, you can reach me on my private line at 604 648 0033 and set up a time for us to have a conversation to see how I may serve you and your family in dealing with conflict in a healthy way. My name again is Francesco Lombardo. Please call me Franco.